All right, everyone, it is Friday, March 20th. Stuff seller here in California. We are uh, in a little bit of a lockdown due to uh, the situation going on. Um, but I'm working through that. We, uh, well, I had a couple of uh, eBay sales yesterday and today. And um, I'll show you what I sold at the end of the video of what I picked up. So um, everybody's taking precautions, wearing masks, wearing gloves, uh, lots of Perel. And uh, my family is hunkered down in the house. And uh, I did manage to pick a few things up uh, for resale, even though things are a little slow right now. Um, I think uh, things will be passing and uh, things will get better. I'm trying to stay positive. Hopefully everybody out there is staying positive and uh, this, this uh, will pass and uh, we'll get back to uh, normality here in the, in the near future. Um, so I went to an estate sale. It was appointment only. Uh, I ended up texting the lady setting up an appointment and meeting them I was probably one of the first ones in there because there was a lot of stuff uh, there that was in the pictures and pretty much had a pick of whatever I wanted the prices were, uh, were actually pretty reasonable on the jewelry and uh, I spent $170 on some pretty quality costume jewelry that I'll show you and then today I went to an estate sale. There were several estate sales. Several of them were canceled due to the uh, government order, but there was one that stayed open. Very few people there. I probably counted maybe eight people. And uh, I wore precaution. I wore a mask and gloves and uh, went through the house and uh, got a pretty good deal. The guy knew that there wasn't going to be a lot of people showing up. So he was uh, set to uh, liquidate a lot of the stuff in the house. It was a privately listed sale. So I'll show you what I got from that sale. I spent $80 at that sale and uh, picked up some pretty good stuff. So uh, let me show you what I, what I picked up. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you what I sold. Um, oh, one other thing is I did sell one thing after I went to the post office and dropped off the two items. I sold a Zippo lighter. I had it at auction for $9.99 and it sold at $9.99. I don't think I'm gonna do any auctions anymore right now. Uh, people just aren't uh, that interested in auctions, so I don't think I'm getting the full value of putting things on auction. I think that everything I'm gonna put for this point forward is gonna be a buy it now until, uh, until we get back to normal and uh, just people are just um, you know not willing to spend the money on uh, on trivial items right now uh, they're they're holding on to their funds in, in case things get worse which I'm hoping it doesn't but um, I did sell the lighter and I sold it for nine nine ninety nine and um, I sold a Jawa engine. Uh, that was from the video where I picked up the uh, the bike. It was a Jawa bike. Um, I sold the engine to that uh, for $55 and it went to Chicago. Just packed it up, sent it to FedEx. Pretty heavy. I think it was 22 pounds. And um, yeah, so that got shipped out. And uh, one other item that you'll see at the end of the video. So let me show you what I picked up. Okay, so at the estate sale for Thursday, which was the appointment only, I spent $158 plus tax, $171.04. And I picked up some pretty quality ju uh, jewelry there. Um, so first off, uh, this is a uh, Heidi Doss picked up several pieces from Heidi Doss and if you look this name up in jewelry you'll find that uh, 
this stuff uh, sells pretty valuable so this is called the imperial lion bracelet it's a bracelet and it's a Heidi Doss uh, let's see if you can see that anywhere uh, it's in there somewhere but they call it the imperial elephant it's a uh, bejeweled uh, all costume and uh, that was part of the pickup. This alone was selling for a hundred, hundred something dollars. This is another Heidi Doss uh, bracelet. Again, this should go for. Uh, 50 to 60 bucks, I would think. Oh, there it goes. Uh, that's it. Here it goes. Heidi Doss. Uh, then some pins. This one is Heidi Doss again. This one was $15, part of the 170 Pretty nice pin there. This lion pin was amazing. Uh, another Heidi Doss. Uh, this is a 925 silver chain and pineapple. You can see it had a price tag of $15. Uh, this is sterling silver, Mark Sterling. That had a price tag of $15. Another Heidi Doss. This is a lion bejeweled bracelet. Let's see what this have on it. This had 15 on it. Then we have this necklace here. This was 35. And I believe this is another Heidi Doss. A lion necklace. So I would say this is gonna be a lot at least 150 bucks, maybe a hundred. Uh, 150 on the high side got a, a pearl in his mouth um, and then these bracelets would be anywhere between 50 to 60 this one here like I said was going close to 100 so um, yeah we'll look those things up also at the same sale for the 170 was this purse it's a Jane Shilton I just picked it up because I thought it was unique and <clears throat> it is made in England. Look this up. It isn't as valuable as I thought it might be. Probably get about 20, 30 bucks on that. So yeah, that was that Thursday sale. Then for 80 bucks uh, today, I picked up uh, all this stuff here. And yes, there is a Yardo in there. So let's go through it. So this is a little coin purse. Um, not sure who the maker is on that. This says GG Guess maybe, but there is no markings on this inside. I'll have to take a closer look. I just thought it was pretty cool. Uh, this realistic clock, radio, alarm, battery operated, closes up, I think it's a little travel alarm, in Japan, not sure, we'll see what that goes for. This little uh, measuring tape, made in Germany, the reason I picked it up. This 
is another, I believe, made in Germany. Little pocket knife with the original box. Uh, there's a lot of German books in there. I don't know if the lady was German or she traveled to Germany. Picked up this little guest travel backpack. Vintage travel division. Let's see. Uh, picked up a bunch of these travel, vintage travel slides. And I've had these before and I've sold some. Um, Pompeii Scavi. They're all slides in there. Let's see if we can put it up here. So we got a bunch of vintage slides from that time period. Fortunately, I don't see any date on it. Um, we got Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, vintage book. Let's see if there's a date on this thing. Don't see a date. these but these were in the pack stamps uh, let's see what is this this is I don't even know how to say that poly vice I don't know I'll have to take a look at them uh, let's see these are Even know these are Rio de Janeiro vintage slides, Brazil. Edinburgh Castle, Madrid. I just went to Madrid uh, last year. Fortunately, I went before all this madness. Yeah, these are all vintage. Bull and Belden, Madrid 2. Fredericksburg, Copenhagen. Denmark. Castillo de San Cristobal. See what are these? Argentina, Buenos Aires. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sun Princess Cruise Line. Vintage. Rothberg. Flights. more Holland so yeah we'll get those listed this wedding photo was in there uh, little sterling silver cap salt and pepper shakers made in Germany Let's see if that focuses there yeah and the caps are marked sterling Let's see if it focuses does it focus there we go, Sterling. Those are pretty cool. It's a little trinket box. It's kind of interesting. It's marked on the bottom. And then it has something inside. I don't know if that goes with this, but uh, we'll check it out. This little make some kind of noise. The reason I got it was it's marked on the bottom. Uh, it's dated 1991 or 92, and it's signed. 
first I thought it was a nesting doll, one of those dolls where you open up and it comes a smaller doll inside, but uh, no, it is marked. We'll see. Pick this guy up. Uh, not sure. It's marked 1969 Kaplan on the back. And it looks like he's reading some kind of Jewish uh, book. He does have a couple of marks there. And then on his nose. So I don't know. This was kind of interesting. It was a uh, guitar clock with uh, some stuff inside of it. Again, 80 bucks for everything here. Uh, these are marked, these little thimbles are marked Germany, somewhere in there. Some clocks or watches. I uh, don't know anything about this. Is Relo. Just some cool pins. G79. Cufflinks. Pyramids or ruins or something. And uh, picked up this umbrella with the little duck handle. I thought it was something special, but when I opened it up, it's made in China, so I don't think it's anything special. Uh, never heard of this magazine, T Trouser Press, from 1981. And it has uh, Jim Morrison and doors on there. So, I don't know, we'll look that up. And then the big find was the Yardo in the box. Um, this is a nurse. There's nothing wrong with her, I double checked. It's marked Yardo on the bottom. Uh, this girl goes probably for about a hundred and some dollars with the box. So yeah, 80 bucks for everything here. 170 for the jewelry. I think I'll do, I'll do pretty good. So stay tuned for uh, a couple things that sold. And... Um, like, subscribe, comment, stay safe out there. Stuff seller out. All right, so for Friday, March 20th, my two sales. This is uh, Nismo LM GT4 wheels. There's actually, um, I believe, eight wheels in here. These are four car models. And, um, Sold this, $24.99, free shipping. Um, I'll put it up on a screen here. And then, I sold the engine to the Jawa uh, bike that I picked up. And I have the engine right here. I had it in plastic because it rained. And this thing here, Sold for 55 bucks plus $60 shipping. It's very heavy. And it's going to Chicago. I had it listed for 100. Uh, took a best offer of 55. It is in rough shape. It has been out in the elements and the guy noted that. Uh, he's gonna take it apart, I guess, and probably use some parts or try to get it running or whatever. But it is heavy and it's gonna get boxed up and sent to Chicago. So 55 bucks plus $60 shipping. That was it, two sales for today. Stay safe, stuff seller out, have a great day.